Hello, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM. Thanks for tuning in on Christmas Eve, where we're still in the midst of our week-long holiday movie marathon. Up next, an enormously likable comedy where an angel is sent to Earth over the holidays to help an Episcopalian bishop who has his priorities out of whack. From Samuel Goldwyn Productions, released by RKO in 1947, The Bishop's Wife. Now about this angel. If the angels released a hottest angels calendar, like to raise money for a charity, this angel would be Mr. December. That's because he's played by Cary Grant. He's joined in the cast by David Niven as the bishop and Loretta Young as the title character of the bishop's wife. Niven's bishop is ambitious. He's grown frustrated trying to raise money to build a spectacular new cathedral. He sees getting the cathedral built as his calling. He's ignoring everything else in his life, including his wife. According to the American Film Institute, producer Sam Goldwyn made some big changes, and he made them after production started. Initially, Niven was playing the angel with Cary Grant as the bishop. According to some sources, Grant requested they switch roles. But in any case, Goldwyn didn't like what he was seeing, so he halted production. He fired the director, William Sider, brought in Henry Coster to direct. Goldwyn overhauled the script, too, hiring a top-flight writing team, Billy Wilder and Charles Brackett, to write new scenes. Wilder and Brackett went uncredited. Goldwyn rebuilt some sets, too. All his changes paid off. By the way, before production started, the bishop's wife was set to be played by Teresa Wright. When she got pregnant, she withdrew, and Goldwyn hired Loretta Young. It's a Wonderful Life hit theaters in December 1946. The Bishop's Wife came out in December of 47. Both films were released by RKO. Though both made money, neither could accurately be described as a huge box office hit. Their enduring popularity came from annual holiday airings on television. The films had three things in common, Angels Without Wings, Best Picture Oscar nominations, and a little actress named Carolyn Grimes. She played Zuzu Bailey in It's a Wonderful Life, and she plays the bishop's daughter, Debbie, in this one. Here it is, from 1947, The Bishop's Wife. The Bishop's Wife was remade nearly 50 years later by director Penny Marshall. After Marshall directed Tom Hanks in a couple of movies, the comedy Big, which earned Hanks his first Oscar nomination, then A League of Their Own, co-starring Gina Davis, Marshall directed The Preacher's Wife, the 1996 remake of The Bishop's Wife. Denzel Washington starred as the Angel Dudley. Singer Whitney Houston took on the Loretta Young role with Courtney B. Vance as the preacher. The Bishop's Wife premiered in December 1947 in New York. That wrapped up a very good year for Loretta Young. About six months before she became the Bishop's Wife, she was the farmer's daughter. In that comedy, she's an independent young Swedish-American on a Minnesota farm. Young's performance earned her the Oscar for Best Actress. David Niven won the Best Actor Oscar a decade later for the 1958 drama Separate Tables. Cary Grant was a two-time Best Actor nominee, never won a competitive Oscar, though. The Academy awarded Grant an honorary Oscar in 1970 for, quote, sheer brilliance in the acting business, so said the friend who presented the Oscar to him, Frank Sinatra. Ahead tonight, our TCM Christmas Movie Marathon continues with the 1938 version of A Christmas Carol, starring Reginald Owen as Scrooge. It's next on TCM.